Next up is Tyler from Habitat Learn. Hey, Tyler, it's all yours. And uh, you'll see my camera go on when the time is getting close. So good luck. Enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Tyler from Habitat Learn. If you don't know us, um, we've been providing summary notes to students um, for roughly 10-ish years now. Um, and this summer, we came out with a new product that still allows students to send away to our note takers and receive summary notes, um, but also gives them tools to help them comprehend and then study from these notes as well. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and we'll go through it. Okay, it looks like it's showing. So what we have here, this is the desktop app. There's a mobile app as well. Um, and there's also a browser version. Um, all three versions sync together. Students can use whichever they like or all three. It's completely up to them. When a student goes to class, they can come over here and they're going to start a recording. When I start my recording, um, when the lecture is done or if there's a break, whichever it may be, um, when I'm finished, I can pause it. Of course, if it's, we're going to, if it's a break, we can come back and resume it. If the class is done, I can go and keep that recording. I'm going to give the recording a title. Let's see. Why not? Um, we're going to give it a subject matter. Um, let's go with AU cultural equipment. That sounds fun. We can save it now. And right at this moment, I have, a, as a student, the ability to request notes, and this will send to our note taking pool. Um, all of our note takers have a background in the subject that you choose. And depending on the turnaround time, you'll get, get your notes back within 24 to 48 hours. Um, if I'm a student and I might be rushing to another class, or as we see a lot of our students do, they might request other notes at the end of the day. Um, I don't have to request my notes right away. I can say maybe later. It's going to save my recording right here. And at the end of the day, or whenever I like, I can go and send away from those notes at that time. So basically students, you know, it's a can go to class, record their lectures, send to our note takers um, and get emailed back their summary notes. Um, our, what we've added into this new version called Messer Pigeon is also a way for students to kind of go dig a little deeper if they like. So whether whether they send a wave to our note takers or not, as long as they have saved this recording, they can also go into it and kind of dig a little deeper. So I'm just going to find a appropriate recording. I, uh, I use this for many parts of my life. So there's some interesting titles in here. So try to ignore some of these, but this looks good. So we'll go into the future of Amazon here. So and go open it up. Now, once I open it up, I'm going to come into this section. So um, at the top here, we can play the recording. Um, I also have the ability to speed up the recording or slow it down. Um, and we at Have Time Learn, we do a lot of research, especially with uh, schools that are neighboring us. And speaking with them, there's just a lot of round where, you know, if a teacher had an accent or if there was a presenter that was talking fast or mumbling through certain parts of the presentation, slowing it down was very useful for them to hear it, comprehend it, and maybe take notes on it. And the same thing for speeding it up. It was, we had students request this as they, on their second or third, fourth, who knows how many times, fifth time around, if that's a really good student, I guess, um, speeding it up to get through recording faster, to hear it more times was, was helpful. So, um, so that's available to them as well. Um, on the left side here, we have an AI transcript. And then in the middle here is also a note-taking box if they want to use it. So uh, we can come in here and say, this one's on Amazon, so we can write about that. Not an Amazon plug, I promise. 
we can give it an emoji. Why not? <laughs> and I can continue to take my notes as, as I go. Other things we can do with this notating box, like clearly, obviously I can take my notes in here. Um, I can interact with the transcript if I like. So I can highlight chunks of the transcript, whatever I want. I can add these parts to my notes. I can also highlight parts of the transcript. Um, and so on like that. There's also parts where if I really want to, I can also add into the transcript, but that would be up to the student. Um, there's different reasons why you'd want to. Um, things we can also do is I can, if there's a specific part of the recording that I'm listening to that I'd want to take my notes on, um, we can timestamp that area. So if Amazon's great, I want to make sure I knew where that was in the audio, which I'm sure is in this audio several times. I can insert a timestamp. I haven't played the audio, so it comes up zero, but as you play the audio, if I was at a specific point, it'll let me know where that is in the audio and where I'm actually taking these notes. Uh, lastly, what we can do for our notes is I can insert an image. I believe we actually did this sketch for ATIA a year back. <laughs> so we have, uh, we can answer images, we can timestamp it, and we can continue to take notes on here as well. So um, I'll have the ability to send to a note taker if I like and receive professional summary notes. Um, and or I have the ability to go into that recording, interact with the transcript, create my own notes, add pictures and slides in here if I like to as well. Um, Lastly, um, we have study assistant here on the right side and study assistant is going to help us really comprehend our, our, our transcript and our audio and what we're getting. And just by doing note taking for so long now, and I think we've done over well over a million notes, we've handed back to students. Um, there's a lot of data we get from that. And there's don't you know, talk in schools is, you know, students send away for notes and then don't know what to do with them. And it's what we really want to work on with our study assistants. So students can come in here. Um, I can click on quiz and test preparation. I'll get some options here. I'm going to go click on quiz me on this lecture. I'm asking study assistant and study assistant is going to build me questions based on the transcript and audio. When the student is ready, they can also hit show me the answers. And I'll get the answers um, from those questions as well. Um, all of these, all these questions and, and the answers as well are strictly from the transcript and audio. Um, and it's mainly based on, you know, it going outside of here. There's, di there's different opinions. There's, you know, the internet's not always correct as well. So we want to build this quiz and test, and we want to give the answers only off what that teacher professor has talked about in this transcript or in their audio. So it's strictly from the confines of the transcript and audio. Um, I can also take some of these if I want to. I can come over here. Um, I can add them to my notes if I like as well. Don't have to, but it takes up quite a bit of room, but I can add those in as well. Now those are sitting at the bottom. Um, lot I can export my transcripts. I can also do it for my own note taking. Um, I can also have my own requested notes. So then if I sent away for notes at the same time, I could also have this sent into here as well. Um, there's Grammarly built in. That's a really cool function that I'm doesn't want to do it from here. There we go. Fix my answer for me, um, and yeah, um, and that that's about it. We we wanted to keep this really simple and help students um, really have the chance to get professional note taken and then, and then comprehend them. Um, I would suggest that you know everyone you can jump on the Apple Store or the Android Store. You can download the free app. Um, you can, you know, if you're watching a show with your partner, you can record it and uh, you can quiz them after to see if they're paying attention. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone.